South Sudan now. The commencement of talks between the two sides in the country's conflict has stirred hope among the citizens that the protracted conflict may soon be coming to an end. The talks are expected to result in the amendment of the country's constitution to allow the formation of a national unity government with shared powers among the warring parties. Patrick Oyet reports from Juba. The arrival of the SPLMA in opposition or rebels advance team has generated a lot of excitement among Juba residents, particularly those internally displaced persons living in various UN compounds. The arrival of the rebels advance team is seen as a step forward because it brings to an end the two years of conflict and alleviate the suffering of millions of people displaced both within and outside the country. The next step now is for the country's constitution to be revealed to allow for the formation of transitional government of national unity. The full implementation of this agreement is paramount. For that purpose, the SPLM SPLA decided to dispatch this large advance team to Juba and states in order to build confidence, disseminate the agreement, and operationalize the implementation institutions. The Festas Mogai Commission, the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, has already set out a timetable for the implementation of the peace deal running through to 2018 when fresh elections will be held. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.